Racing is like the, the real thing behind the motorbikes. Overtaking someone and knowing, okay, I'm in front of you now, that's the fun. The first time I was like, I actually got a ride on my own now. I have to do my own lanes, I have to get into the corner ride without following anybody. So I'm the leader. Um, it's weird, but it's a really cool feeling because it's something everybody wants to achieve. She was not really in, into motorcycles. Once in a while she sat on the rear seat and um, enjoyed riding with me, but her main thing was horseback riding. I did my license when I was 16 because I wanted to get from my little village to town, which is like, it does, it is like a long bus ride. So with a bike it's like 20 minutes, which is really, really fast. My dad made me do some trainings with the bike for getting the curves better and um, for being safe on the street. I liked those trainings really much, so I did a few of them and then he took me to the racetrack for some instructor training. I made really fast progress and the guys told me, wow, you're doing such a good job, don't you want to like do a race training someday? And I then had my first race training. Parallel to that, she was my passenger in my BMW sidecar race bike and uh, we had a very much fun together. I'm used to, to make my own decisions. It's probably because my parents, they were never really strict. I was always allowed to do my own stuff. And I see friends struggling with their own decisions. I enjoy my life as a student, but um, I don't have that much time. Like on the weekends, I'm usually gone. Like not every weekend, but often. I, either I'm at the track at the race or I'm at home helping my dad with the bikes. It's a Ducati from 1969. It has a brand new 350 engine built by a friend of my dad and my dad used to race the bike when he was younger. It is very light. A couple of years ago we, we bought a special racing frame from Italy and we, we put on a special drum brake in the front wheel. But the heart of the bike is the engine and the engine, the performance and the power is unique. The engine has a dry clutch, which is special. It has around 40 horsepower. The, the, the carburetor size is 40 millimeter, which is also rather, rather large for such a 350 uh, engine. It has a forged piston, special piston with high compression. And um, you cannot buy such a, such a bike in a shop, so it makes it very, very special. The, the hour before the race is really hard. I, I am like thinking about, okay, you have to be careful. I mean, if something happens, of course the bike, I mean, I don't want to smash the bike, but it's mainly because when I'm in the camper, I just, I lay down, like the, the half an hour before the race, I lay down and I listen to music and I just try to um, get my thoughts together to like be, okay, it's gonna be fine. You're, I'm getting around the track in my head, I'm taking my phone and I'm stopping the time when I'm in my head and I try to know every, every bit of the track really, really well, so there's no surprises going to happen. And um, I try to focus myself, but I try to, try to stay calm. I'm mainly racing against guys, so sometimes I'm the only girl. <laughs> and um, 
the boys see my hair under my helmet and they know it's a girl riding in front of them and they're like, hmm. When I overtake them, they do get mad sometimes, but um, it's not too serious. I mean, they, they all know me and um, it's okay for them, but they do say that it's weird for them um, becoming overtaken by a girl. It's just, it's different than when another guy would overtake them. Orsetleben is uh, the most northern racetrack in Germany. From here, you, it, it, it takes about one hour to go there by, by, by car. And we use this track for, for our track days, for practicing. Maya was, was born here in Braunschweig in 1999. So that was exactly uh, 10 years after after the, the, the border opened. He, she hasn't seen all the caravans of people coming from the east to, to Braunschweig, buying all the bananas and all the stuff they have never, never got, gotten in, in, the, in the country. Well, I'm, I'm really thankful for my dad because he, he provides me all the opportunities with the racing, with the motorbikes. Um, he trusts me so much. He's letting me ride all his expensive and uh, super cool motorcycles on the street. She can, she can ride those bikes perfectly and she in, enjoys it also. So I think we'll have a good future together. I'm, I'm an introvert. I'm quite shy at sometimes and then just people coming to me and saying, wow, I've met you on Instagram and it's so nice to see you in person. And I'm like, wow, thank you. Because they, it, it's a really big compliment for me. Not something that happens every day. When we're on the start, everything's gone. I'm not excited, I'm not afraid. I just think about what I'm gonna do. I'm putting the gear in, I'm letting the clutch come and it just go. And then it's just, just the track. It's frightening at times, but you get more comfortable and you become faster and then suddenly you become the guy overtaking others, which is a really cool feeling. I just do my, my, my thing and I try to make a good start so I don't get into the bunch of people getting to the first corner because that's horrible. When there's like 20 guys next to you, you're like, ah, oh, I have to go. <laughs> well, you, you feel kind of lost when you're the first one because you have nobody in front of you and you're just like, okay, I don't know like where the guys are. Are they far behind me? Are they really close? I'd love to do more racing and um, it's hard for me to manage both because for example now I'm in the middle of exams and it's really exhausting to race the bikes and then in the evening like continue studying the stuff you have to know for the exams. Maybe get on a faster bike and uh, learn some new stuff and if it goes well maybe I will focus on the racing more. I can like pause my studies so I say okay I'm gonna make a pause for one season and I'm going to give everything for the racing and if it goes well I can continue. My name is Maya. 
I am known on Instagram as the Duchess of Speed. I am 20 years old and I rise a classic Ducati. <laughs>